What is everybody? I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Air Jordan 1 Pollen from Faith Key biz.ru this replica pair is a pair i've been wanting for a little while now mainly because of the pollen color i really enjoy that color it is a nice yellow to put on a jordan one he's delivered to my house pretty fast as well which is something i really enjoy from a replica website i don't have like any yellow shoes so this will be my first yellow replica and it's of course it's a jordan one which i love let me know what you guys think about them i've been very very thankful for all the support recently on the videos we um once again we hit 400 subs we're at like 430 right now it is amazing and i'm so thankful for it to see the channel grow and climb this fast is just outstanding and I'm really thankful for it. And um, I'm gonna keep up this journey. I really love doing this. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you guys for all the support. Let's get into the unboxing. So here's the box. I love this yellow. And um, I like how they switched out the red because usually this is all red, the uh, Nike to yellow, the pollen. So I really like how they wrap the shoes in these baggies. They're not like vacuum sealed, but most uh, websites, you know, sellers don't really do that. Here's the Jordan 1 Pollen. This shoe reminds me a lot, and I mean a lot of the uh, Dunk High Wu-Tang shoes. The, that's what these shoes remind me of a lot. So um, I also, switched out the laces from black to yellow. And I, I really prefer the, the pollen color. It just looks much better. The black isn't bad, but I think it looks weird when all of this is black from toe to the head, the, the tongue. It just looks a bit weird. And it's nice to have a little bit more of that pollen color. Yeah, I just really like those laces though. like what they did here with the Nike Air as well. This tongue feels like straight, like really nice and straight and firm. Black and yellow is also just a nice colorway in general, kind of like black and red. And for a long time, I always thought this was suede. I don't know why I always thought that, but it's leather as well. Also, the outsole is a much lighter yellow. It's not as dark and golden as this. It is, I mean, there's the comparison. This is, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is much lighter than what's up here. And I almost wished this was this color. Like this yellow was the rest of the shoe. But I, I don't mind this pollen goldish color at all. So much fun to look at a yellow sneaker, especially yellow Jordan 1. Because once again, there's not many. And I do love the color yellow on certain things and this is i think a great thing to put yellow on this is one of my favorite types of jordan one colorways what i mean by that is the where the colors are placed because you got some jordan ones that are you know the say example the yellow would be here on the nike and here and then on the toe and that's it and then the rest would be black or white and then there's like i'll show them on screen there's multiple variations and this is definitely my favorite variation of a jordan one because it's equaled, it's equaled out. There's enough black and there's enough yellow. And then the uh, white midsole. And by the way, this midsole feels the exact same as a real pair. Pretty much, I, th I think the reason why that is is because they're the same, same uh, pieces. Because some pieces work differently. Like this is just one whole piece. Well, this leather or like separate handmade type pieces. So it's different. Same goes for like a, a one whole piece kind of like this. It would be 
say for a Jordan 4, the back tab is like a whole piece that you can, even if you want, you could buy online. I like how all three colors are on the tongue, the white, yellow, and black. There's something about the, the, um, the Nike Air tongue being a different color sometimes that just looks nice, you know, where they change it up. It's not the exact uh, same thing every time. But this, this leather feels super soft. Not like weak soft though, just smooth. Let me know if you guys think the yellow laces are better or the black ones. I, de I definitely think the pollen are a little bit better. Here's the right shoe, looks great as well. Jordan ones are also the most comfortable Jordan to wear, for sure. I've weared fives, sixes. Sixes are also extremely comfortable. Not extremely, but very. They're much more comfier than I thought they would ever be. Um, but yeah, I've weared six, five, four. Jordan ones, I could I could go hiking if I went right now. My sister's birthday this year, we went um, to Tahoe in the snow and I was walking in the snow with them. Yeah, some snow got in my shoe, but it felt good and I actually had grip. Like I wasn't falling or sliding everywhere and they're actually comfortable. Very comfortable. The only thing I found a little weird looking was this mid uh, top or uh, back area. Um, it's a little bit crooked. That's what I noticed. It's not that bad, especially in person. It's not that bad, but that was the only uh, flaw. But yeah, that is the Jordan 1 Pollen. I think it's a great, and I mean great, uh, yellow sneaker. Also a bit of a gold, and that's the nice thing about it. It's a bit of a mix of both, like a goldish yellow and a, you know, standard yellow. Um, I'm happy to have these because I did want, I've been wanting them for a long time now for like, when did these come out? I think they came out like, didn't they come out 2021 or 2000? Yeah, it was like 2021. That was a long time ago. It isn't that long, but it was pretty some time ago. So that's interesting. It's fun to have them now. And um, I really do enjoy this colorway because it's not just the yellow, it's also the black. And what I was talking about earlier is the um, variations of Jordan 1s. There's not just one type of Jordan 1 color uh, or color where the colors are placed. Because you got the ones that are like the bread colors, or, or the bread, like you see how there's less red and there's more black. And then you have ones where it's like a mix of both, kind of like this one. It's um, half black and half yellow, almost a little bit more yellow. This is my favorite color variation of Jordan 1s. It just, it's evened out and it looks the best. The website, in my opinion, did a great job on the quality. One little thing I found on the uh, back part was a little bit crooked, but there's always gonna be at least one flaw with replicas, that's just how it is. The real question is, is um, how bad is the flaw? Because sometimes it could be very little to the point where it's almost unnoticeable. So that's the real question with looking at a flaw in a replica. Besides that, the materials do feel nice. The leather actually feels very smooth feels comfortable. I'm also happy with the packaging. Nothing too crazy, but I like how they covered it up in little plastic bags. I think all replica websites should uh, start doing that. It's just a nicer way to give you the shoes and it's a little bit cleaner that way. So I think that's a good, good uh, idea that most replica websites should start doing. So I'm gonna rate the quality for this website a, I think an eight out of 10 is great. Yeah, an eight out of 10 for the quality. Um, nothing crazy, but I mean, it's a replica and it looks good. It honestly looks good. It looks very similar to my other Jordan ones that are similar to these. They're not yellow, but they're just like them. The colorway for the Jordan one pollen, I'm going to rate that a 8.5. Yeah. There's the only issue I have with it is the type of yellow it is. I like it, 
but I wish it was a bit more like this yellow on my beanie or you know something like that but it's not it's it's not bad to have like a goldish yellow so I'm not mad at it but it would be I think I would have liked it a little bit more if it was kind of like this yellow but I enjoy darker goldish yellows on sneakers and clothing sometimes black mixes very well with the pollen my overall rating for the journal one pollen I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10 definitely deserves an 8 out of 10. These are a great pick for a goldish yellow Jordan 1 high in my opinion. I want to start collecting more yellow uh, colorways for sneakers because there's not that many I've seen and I like the color yellow on sneakers for sure. But yeah a lot more sneaker videos are coming out very soon. I'm excited to show you the upcoming sneaker videos. Um, there's one in particular that just came out this year that I'm excited to see because um, it's based off something interesting that I hope people are interested in as well. But yeah, thank you guys for all the support recently. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm going to keep up the grind. And um, I'm really, really thankful for 400 subs. And my goal by the end of this year is to hit 1,000. I believe I can do it for sure. I believe we can do it. So yeah, thank you guys once again. And with all that said, I'm going to head out. Peace. Thank you.